Alright, this is part three of how to set up a Mega Mod. Um, don't start setting up now, um, doing anything. Just follow, watch the videos. You can come back and watch the videos more if you feel you need steps afterwards. But these are just, just the basics. I'm not going to go into all the detail. Here, this is the Big World Project by Leonardo Watson. Um, this is a PDF file you download from his site. This is particularly for those people who want to do a hands-on detailed approach to installing a mega mod uh, and this is probably the best documented setup source for that and as you can see it's very well done um, set it up each mod has here in the, the table of contents has the page in which it's discussed and we're just still going through the table of contents folks this is how many mods this, and now we're into the appendix here, um, this project covers. His icon avatar, the Leonardo's. And he, we're, I'm not going to read all this. You can read it if you want. Um, and if you're going to do it hands-on, you need to read this. I, re, I just reread um, the version just before this. This came out just today, but um, before installing mine, because it really can give you if you you're sort of as somewhat of a hands-on guy well if you're going to be totally hands-on you've got to read this but it can give you an idea of what um the various mods are do and what you may want so it's it's worthy to to look at and he will leave outdated information if you want to try to do an outdated thing there but clearly marks it where you don't you know you can skip it go on to the to the stuff that covers a more recent version of things as mods change, as you get better fix packs for them, they set it, you set them up differently than what they originally done. But so this is all very good, and this is a step by step which thing to hit install, where to press enter, every little detail. Then you can make the choice on, you know, do you want this con? You know, it tells you what the the um components do and do you want them and you can make the choice as you go through and install and sometimes some of the stuff from one mod you want to install at the starting of the installation pro process another component you want to put at the end of the process it details when to do all of each of these things and how to do them and this is a very good hands-on detail oriented way to do it um, for first time people though, generally I don't recommend using this as your attempt um, to make a um, mega mod, but I wanted this to be covered so that people know what it is, and if you want to go down this road, you've got the information. Um, thank you for listening, we'll, we'll continue with part three.